Hey, Shabbat Shalom. You came quicker than I thought. I heard on talk radio Morningstar changed the drinking contest rules again. Yo, Father Van Dyke. Another round, if you're not busy? Is, um, is Milo upstairs? Upstairs is pigeon for heaven down here. Oh, yeah? Upstairs is heaven, downstairs is between, and the fart pit is hell. Anyway, yeah, Milo's up the staircase. Your other friend's here, too. What other friend? Mary? She's a few in, but not tits up. Might be worth having a word with her, too. <sighs> you know, I can't really stand that thing. Therapy's a road to travel. Yeah, I get it, but once I died, I really stopped giving a shit about what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Hey, you can die in hell. It's just a lot harder, and it usually doesn't stick. But speaking of dying, some people don't come here or heaven, you know. They get blown out with the butterflies. Nirvana. Artie Schopenhauer would call it extinction. I'd call it winning by timeout. Enlightenment's not hard. Just have sex to James Brown. Some people would call getting rid of Sister Mary Warmhorn enlightenment. But the inventor of the mirror hung himself, so I guess people really hate their foibles. Not that I disagree, of course. Give me a break, Sam. All right, I mean, demon gotta look out for demon, okay, but you can't possibly think Wormhorn, things like that are a good thing. Here's the, here's the thing, okay? Here's the thing, Lola. Humans, they're born in beds. They don't deserve to be happy too, but you get to be. Some of you, anyways. Father, another? Thanks. Okay, your partner in crime's upstairs. I'll be here waiting for you when you're done. Dude, you have been the biggest ducking jerk. I don't know why I said ducking, biggest fucking jerk this entire night. I don't care if it's your job. It's you, it's you, you suck. So. So. So buttons. Why are you here, Lola? What do you want? What do you want, huh? What is it? Um, this is, okay, it's gonna sound weird, but I guess I just, I wanted to come over and look at you. Look at me like I'm a two-headed fucking cow in a carnival. Look, I don't need this shit, okay? I'm I, I'm doing great, Lola, okay? I might have been born from your so-called traumatic memories, but if you think I'm gonna be divined by your pathetic self-doubts about having webbed toes, you got another thing coming. I'm my own demon, okay? With my own plans blossomed from my own anxiety. Well, not that I care, but you're deluding yourself if you think you can be happy. I'm meeting some friends here. All right, don't know if you've ever heard of them. The, 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 the terrible trivium, the word snatcher, the gelatinous giant, the... Ow, oh, fuck, shit, just go before somebody sees me with you. Oh, fine, whatever. See you later, I guess. For the tenth time, kid, this isn't karaoke. Sorry, we're full up on participants. You understand. Bingo fills up quick. Bingo? One of the oldest forms of gambling invented by Satan worshippers in the second century. Unless you live in a government that blocks certain facts from being disseminated, this shouldn't be news to you. Whatever, just just ignore her, MC Demon. She doesn't she's not she doesn't like to party like us. She's not a she's not a, a, a partier. Milo, okay, let's let's go somewhere and talk, all right? What's there to talk about? How how you never listen to anything I say, or or that you hate having fun, fun hater? Let's just keep the game going, guys. Okay, take it outside. No, 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 no. Give us give us a second. This person sits on her on her throne of judgment like she's Ivan the Terrible, and and I'm sorry, Lola, for staying in town. Okay, I'm sorry I decided to put my family first. I don't know what you want from me. You ask, you tell me to open myself up to new experiences and, and when I'm already dead. Well, I'm sorry, but just don't interrupt. Let me finish. Now I'm finished. Barkeep, give me three more runaway cars. I've already had 12. <clears throat> Impressed? I don't get it. Is it impressive to go through a dozen juice boxes on Earth? What, what do you mean juice boxes? A runaway car is mostly Raspberry Punch Kid with a dash of spritzer. Wait, I've been drinking non-alcoholic drinks. <laughs> You're as sober as a nun on Sunday. God, you know what? Screw this. Fine. Fuck you guys. Milo. Let him go, man. He 
just doesn't get bingo. It's about that time, ladies and germs. Let's keep the bingo going. Markers at the ready. Our first number is B15. B15. Second number is I-12. I-12. Third number is C-15. C-15. Milo, why did you come here? Yeah, to tell you the truth, I don't really know. I don't remember that much about our friendship, Mola, about our history together. I remember certain things, like a, like a hallucination, you know? But the scary thing is, I can't for the almost literal life of me remember why we stayed friends in the first place. We just don't have anything in common. Milo, come on, we, we've, we've got stuff in common. Like what? We make each other laugh, don't we? we sh shouldn't that be enough? I don't know, maybe. We're here because we, apparently we weren't great people, but I think maybe we're here because we weren't great at being people. Maybe that's the same thing, but we've been cutting each other in half for our entire lives, and I just don't want to do that anymore, to you or to me. So if we get back, I'm gonna try to, uh, to do something in that world that makes me feel okay about just being me. As scary as that sounds. Hey, we can still be friends though, right? <sighs> yeah, we can still be friends. Lola, I know you're always being you with me. You never, you never try to be anything else you're not. I try to do the same for you, and whatever else happens after tonight, if we get back, if we don't, let's, uh, well, you know. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry about it. Let's out drink that son of a bitch. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Sam's, well actually I thought she was, I'm right here. How long were you standing there? I've been in the John for the last 10 minutes, so one second. Why, you kids patch things up? Uh, sure. Sure sounds like good enough for me. Let's ramble. I'm calling it. Calling it for the night, or? I mean, I, I'm not gonna poof out of permanence right this second. I probably have like another half hour or something. Oh. Where are you gonna go? Oh, I don't know. Somewhere warm. Well, I guess we'll see you. Ah, that's the thing. You won't, and that's fine. It's good that it happens like this. People change, you change, you learn how to drive, you get married, folks die, you... You change, and your demons should change with you. I guess. Anyways, bye, you little freaks. And don't be blaming me for your nightmares, okay? I don't need that on my conscience. 